Buenos dias, beautiful people. This is Laurie and Rowan. <laughs> this is Surfing Gusebaya and uh, Life Without Mirrors. <laughs> Whatever. You know what? This is this is how I look. And um, this is Life Without Filters. And you know what? I like it. <laughs> I have worked so hard removing the goggles, removing my own personal filters from my eyes. And I understand. I understand that other people make an incredible art of playing with filters. I've enjoyed um, other people playing with photographs that we've taken. For me, I'm really working on um, presenting myself in the most honest, um, in the most honest and direct ways. Yeah, this is who I am. Um, and it's amazing what I've run into in this process. You know, on the one hand, um, you know, I always, I always love the process of smashing my illusions, and I have lots and lots and lots of them. <laughs> you know, and coming to Mexico, living in Mexico, it's incredible even how different the internet is. It's incredible how much information there is on histories in Africa, uh, the Yoruba culture, the entire access to the kind of information of what history is is completely different here than in my search engines in Canada. That's because censorship is real, it exists, and it's incredibly easy on the internet to for countries to create boundaries and pathways for what internet is for and filters for the kind of information that people get. So, um, so who is making our decisions, right? So what are we seeing? How are we seeing it? What's the bubble? We all have bubbles. Pertipujas, I love bubbles. I love bubbles. They're shiny. You see someone blowing bubbles and I just want to jump in the middle and play with them. They're beautiful. They're distracting. And they dissolve, right? Are they real? Yep. What kind of real are they? <laughs> what kind of real am I? You know? Again, it's like, this is another day, and my stories do not exist. The histories do not exist. I'm not sure what universe I woke up in. I've been having interesting dreams with my friends. Um, my friend Atina messaged me that we were arguing in our sleep about navigating the multiverse. So you're, this was from the, the night before last. And then, and I was like, huh. And I mean, we meet, it, it's, it's very normal of me to meet with friends in dreams, to meet with clients, and even to meet with, just to do healing work. It's a lot of, a lot of people of the calling as healers that um, I know have very different sleep experiences because we're working a lot in our sleep. We go and visit people. And I get a confirmation of this. I have had many people and witnesses. Valerie, Valerie. Valerie has been there when I've had complete strangers come up to me and say, I had, I dreamt about you. Or, or in one case in particular that I'm thinking of is, is they, we had a mutual friend and the, and the friend encouraged them and said, oh yeah, you can talk to Lorraine about that. <laughs> that makes sense. And they came to me and said that they were very, very ill and they had a dream with me in the dream that I came and helped them. And then they woke up the next day substantially improved and they made it through um, their, yes, they felt the difference and they made it through their experience. Um, so, so last night too, I had this, I had this same dream. I was conscious of the dream um, in which I was struggling with my friend to not move forward to it is a feeling of unworthiness in being unable to move forward and in, and in navigation you know I feel compassion idiot compassion again we come back to the Tibetan Buddhist thank you Tibetan Buddhist you know compassion idiot compassion right so it's like you know, the fact is that people, Wendy is, 
the, the fact is that people have decided, people navigating their own universes, and they knew what they wanted to experience before they even came here. Um, destiny as a self-created thing, not destiny as an imposition, you know? It's like, you designed the video game, <laughs> you're the programmer, you designed the video game. It's not some outward malevolent force, you know, trying to be like a big meanie and realize that people signed up for what they want to sign up for. And when I try and drag people into living the way I want to live, it's never beautiful, it's never good. There was, um, uh, so, I used to play with people's pineal glands because I noticed I could emit a vibration which stimulated the pineal glands of the people around me. They would be much, you know, they would react to their intuition and they'd be higher in compassion and so forth. Simultaneously, they'd also be more volatile and more reactive. Um, <clears throat> that was an interesting. So it's actually alphas was a TV series on synesthetics I consulted on with uh, Michael, the, the creator. And they actually took a whole bunch of these experiences, experiments of mine, and made them plots and different ones. So one of the episodes, um, there is a, a person, a synesthetic, who does, who has that talent. And that's a, and it's really it's interesting to watch because though it is an exaggeration you know an exaggeration for it's still very um, interesting. That was one of my that was one of my inspirationy things where it was really nice. They went two seasons and they had to break up my talents between many characters um, to and play. It was really interesting. So it was fun to watch <clears throat> that be played out on a screen in story, stories from my life be played out on that screen. Anywho, now, I guess this is really what I'm doing right now as I'm watching stories from my own consciousness played out in the world around me. And so, I'd just like to, if you guys want to just take a moment, it's morning, it's a beautiful fucking day because we fucking decide it is. Yeah. And, uh, hey, that's Crixus, the handsome dog. The handsome is puppy face. Yes, he is. Oh, I love him so much. Yes, of course. Say hello to the camera. Oh, thanks. Thanks. I missed that spot. Washing my face. Oh, yeah. Missed that one, too. Okay. <laughs> is, let's just take a moment and let's just anchor in. Let's just remember where we're going. This is the route to the good world, you guys. This is the route. This is the world we're creating. The world in which we share resources. The world in which, <coughs> you know, the tough, the strongest does not win. Or the most violent and the most threatening does not win. The world in which um, we live as responsible cells in the body of the planet. All of us. All of us. Including humans. Including all the beings. Including all the beings. Oh, thanks, buddy. And so, uh, yeah, breathing that in, allowing our roots energetically to unfold through the base of our spine, allowing them to root and connect into that vibration. We don't have to understand what it is. We know your infinite being knows. So only and always have for the highest good of all concerned, I would like to be thankful in celebration for being anchored in such a world for being anchored in such a reality. I would like to thank the universe for being fucking amazing. I'd like to thank you for coming on this ride with me. So the world is, what is the reflection? We're coming to the eclipse, you know, again. And it's like when the moon, this time it's a full moon eclipse, which is just one big mirror. The moon is one big mirror. You know, the light of this in, in hand, the, made luminous by the light of the sun and then and then so when that light is interrupted and we see the moon for what it is who are we what are we in that process yeah who are we what are we in our process now 
Who are we? What are we? Oh, we are here, my friends. We are here. We are blessed. Thank goodness. Life is amazing. And uh, we're here for this. It's, this isn't, again, like, this is not the ride I thought it would be. <laughs> I'm challenged on so many levels I was not expecting. And I feel so human. I feel so human right now. You know, I'm having this exceptional experience right now with dogs and cats and children. And I always have exceptional, it's that synesthesia. We have the same, you know... Um, children and animals, perce we perceive crossover aspects of reality, so. Um, but I'm here for this. And I'm excited to be, um, yeah, I'm very excited. I'm very excited to have Cambo again and to really be engaging in the process of learning and studying and using Cambo um, in the best possible ways. And uh, now I've, I've found another teacher and I'm looking, they are, they are half the year, they're also Mexican, but they're also, they are half the year in Brazil, um, in Amazonia with uh, the, the people they've been living and studying and representing for 15 years. And um, but their style is completely different and they have this complete reverence and deeply casual comfort at the same time. And um, I am scared. I am terrified. <laughs> it's a saying, Cambo Chunga, I do not take these beings lightly. You know, I do not take these beings lightly. I take the, I am thankful to uh, have the exposure and the awareness with these beautiful beings. And uh, I'm incredibly thankful. So here's thank you for joining me on the thankfulness. Let's um, we're gonna be talking more about mirrors because it is time. I actually bought some really cool little hand mirrors, and it's time to smash the old mirrors. Smash the old mirrors. I found uh, some good ways to do that safely, and to smash the old ways that I looked at myself. Well, the old filters and the old reflections. I'm really looking forward to that. Smash them. Like She-Hulk smash. With intelligence, with wit, with discernment, with love, with kindness. I love you and I'm with you. And I know that you're with me. Just waxing our surfboards. With the doing it and doing it and doing it well. We're here. Letting the ride take us. Letting the waves carry us. They know the destination. The universe knows us. Love knows us. Love knows you. The universe knows you. Trust the universe. Trust. Love you. Meow, meow. Lauren Rowan. Stepping through Sonara. Another beautiful fucking day. <laughs>